him sub sauce. I'm not gonna try to repeat early. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Great. Um. Get a mic. So we have a lot of mics in the studio. Um, you one you, want. you guys want these? Sure. Uh, what? Are we talking? Are we doing things? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you guys, I mean, you guys do not like... Um, no, I don't mind. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm going to like, walk a few PSAs and stuff. Okay, cool. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a pretty much important, pretty, pretty important part of the show. All right. Yeah, sit, sit there wherever you guys want. That's really nice. All right, so I'm going to show you guys again. So, so when you want to do something, right? Uh, so you, there's a, so I have a soundboard for my show, not necessary, but uh, so I turn on RCA laptop, and that's how you play from your aux cord. Um, then you turn off the computer, right? And then you. What's up, guys? This is you're tuned into another episode of the MCBPZ Radio Hour. Um, uh, we have two, uh, we have three guests in the studio today. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? They're new to the station, so I'm training them. Uh, here you Hi. go. Hi, I'm Alexa. What's up? Alexa. Hi, I'm Love. Hey. Love. I'm Chris. Chris. Good morning, Good morning everybody. Yeah, it's um, the first show of the day apparently because no one was here before us. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, but first, you guys know what the show is about. That's my main question. Like, why, why did you guys decide to shadow this show in particular? Convenience. Convenience? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, convenience. Not like an interest in the show, right? No? Well, I mean, I, I really thought the name was really cool. Do you, guys know, do you guys know <laughs> what the show is? Like, it's about? Tell us. Yeah. All right, yeah. So um, we're basically... Um, well, we're, we're, a real, we're like a real news station, right? So we talk about like things that most mainstream... Uh, media don't cover uh actually so like, i actually have a friend who's usually here he's not here right now um he's gonna call in today probably uh but uh we got a uh, we had a lot of uh so basically we talk about well are you guys familiar with the concept of flat earth yes yeah so it's like we're a flat earth radio i'm like i'm a flat earth radio show Lovely. yeah and so um usually i get more uh feedback i push back from that um but yeah, those are my beliefs. Uh, so I, I understand like a lot of people don't believe them. So I brought like uh, some like informational like like things to show you guys if you guys wanted. Like I was thinking it'd be cool to debate some globe heads on. That's what we call not flat earthers. So okay. I thought it'd be like a little cool to do that. But I mean, if you guys don't want, you don't have to do that if you don't want. Excellent. You would? You're down? Absolutely. All right, great. And what about you guys? Uh, you know, I think I'll I'll, I'll uh, sit and observe this because I don't know too much. You don't know much, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I mean, if you don't know much, right? That's that's a prime educational opportunity, right? Because I find like a lot of people don't actually ask the questions about like flat Earth. They always just uh, they just are they just are kind of brainwashed. They like you're told propaganda in these American schools, right? And you don't really actually like t have time to think about it. And then if you actually think about it, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so I think it's best to kind of observe the argument. Just oh, yeah, sure, of course. I mean, I, I don't want to know if I would consider this argument more of like an educational opportunity yeah, for you guys. Yeah, conversation. All right, great. Um, so, I mean, are you do you guys believe in Flat Earth or no? I'm um, on the fence, personally. On the fence. Heard some different arguments. Heard some different arguments? Yeah. Right, and yeah. what about you, Alexa? Just to clarify, you believe the Earth is flat? Yeah. All right. Um... Based off of my education, I disagree. Well, you see that, <laughs> and there it is, right? So when you say based off your education... That's why I chose yeah, those words. Exactly. When, I, when I hear the words, you know, based off of my propaganda, right? Because okay. I, I, I don't... It's really easy. You see, like, you see these ideas. You see, like, North Korea is all this bad stuff. But, like, that's all propaganda. Like, like everything... Like, you, if we don't realize how surrounded we are in propaganda. We, we, the United States is a very strong efficient uh propaganda machine do you remember the got milk yes i do, do you remember got milk that was that why, why did there was a that was government funded there were government funded campaigns telling you to drink milk have you ever thought how weird that was like why what what, what, what do you think the reasoning there was for the government to do that to promote more drinking of milk but, well, yeah exactly <laughs> but why what why, why what's why does government have a vested interest in milk 
No, uh, that's that's actually not. No, that's fluoride. But good. Um, I, I can you seriously take this seriously, guys? Like I, like, so I usually I th like last year um, the station manager actually put a bunch of people on my show as a joke, right? And so like I, she, cause they think it's kind of funny about my show. Like they don't, they think that my beliefs are funny, but like I take this, I I don't take it in stride. All right, this is a very, we're very uh, so we're a very like wholesome show. We we try to be educated for everybody. Um, we're very big focus on like being family friendly, and because I I genuinely want to change people's minds. All right, so um, but yeah, so so no, but no, milk does not actually uh, contain any. Uh, mind altering substance, but it is curious as to why like milk was such a big um, like what what why why there was so much funding. And if you actually look into it, um, at the time there was heavy subsidies, right? The United States gave heavy subsidies into I think was it wheat? Wheat was it? And then so they and then the, what ended up happening was there was an overproduction of milk, so all these farmers were poor, and so the farmers lobbied and they made got milk a campaign, even though milk is not actually that nutritious for you. And they were like, milk is strong, milk will make you good. So there's this huge propaganda campaign for milk, which is crazy to think about. It's like we're we're a first world country. Why do we have propaganda? But we do. Just weirdly, it's it's very capitalist centric, right? All right. Anyway, so flat Earth. Um, so but you guys you guys understand right now? There's propaganda all around us. Yeah. Sure. All right. So um, all right. So uh. So I mean, first of uh, all, we're gonna. T uh, so I mean, number one, the show is we're constantly at war with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, this guy, uh, here's a little image of that, of Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's, um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of flat earth, right? relies on logic, right? It relies on like science, science, right? It lies, it lies, like not like that fancy science you see in like laboratories, but like real human science. Like obvious, like here's a, here's a, um, human science. here's like, so I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like Ben Shapiro. Yep. So like Re Rebel Rob TV is basically like the flat earth's Ben Shapiro. He like, um, kind of owns like, uh, like idiots like Neil deGrasse Tyson. So here's a, here's a uh, image of him uh, owning Neil deGrasse Tyson on a, on a tweet. Um, yeah, so basically there's a lot of uh, good information out there. Uh, so I think so. So first of all, we have to like. Uh, there's the idea of like, what is flat Earth? So the flat Earth, it makes a lot of sense. Um, for example, like uh, in the Bible, does it say the Earth is a sphere? or Does it say the Earth is flat? Flat. flat. I'm familiar with the Bible? You're not familiar with the Bible? No. That's all right. No, that's okay. Um, I mean, again, like so, American education doesn't necessarily stress the Bible all the time. Again, that's propaganda. Um, this is just saying exactly like the Got Milk thing. There, it's just this idea of. It's very, it's very strange, very weird. Um, where, like, why, why isn't the Bible taught in schools anymore? Remember, America was founded as a Protestant country. True. So why, why isn't the Bible taught in schools? Well, it later Separation became, of church and state. Yeah, it also later became a, a new haven for you know immigrants, and not all immigrants support uh, you know follow what's in the Bible or support that in their. Well, I'm, lives. yeah, I mean that's right, but that's because they were like at the time they didn't really have that you know educate. Like, if you, it's not, it's not an immigrant's fault to not be exposed to the Bible. Right, but once but they learn about the, what the Bible is, then, then you're continually to promote that type of religion on a country that was founded on respecting different morals and ideals. I mean, I feel like the the different morals that America was founded on was mostly Protestant ones, right? Weren't they? Uh, I mean, I, I I just I just well, casually read well history if books. You look so. At, I, I, so do I casually yeah. read history books. But um, if you look oh, at it, congratulations. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Um, but if you look at it, it just so happens that a lot of the independent cultures, even from the beginning of like ancient civilization not even just like um influence of christianity all had independent views that later all had similar morals you I mean like you've got what the babylonian eye for an eye which is concepts of morals that later developed you see that in mesoamerica too right so these are different uh, so can you speak into the mic sorry so what i'm saying is like the morals that were in the protestant culture like in a way are very similar to universal morals and it's not an influence not necessarily a, uh, an influence of colonialism as much as it is also more of a reflection of independent invention of a lot of things that you could see even before colonialism was a thing all right so actually you know what you you make some good points right so i believe the bible is right more of so the bible is a representative of a lot so the the, the bible has existed many times in the past not only as the bible so i think all the hist all the biblical text all, all religious texts have that same source right and so 
what's very important to realize right is that on none just, of those religious texts say that the earth is a round sphere right but they also did not have the technology to see whether what the earth was at that time a and b there were a lot of religious texts that were created well before the bible that have different motives about it too right yeah but did any of them say that the earth was a sphere they don't have like by if you look right now into the horizon you don't see the spherical outlook with the modern technology that they had at that time period though right very good so what what, what would it take for us to see the sphere um, some good some good telescopes nasa well so look here here's a good uh, point right here's a good argument um, so it's a, it's a picture of a fish, and if this for our listeners, it's a picture of a fish in a fishbowl saying, "That's what does the world look like, right?" And so, yeah. So you, your argument is right that you're saying, "Oh, they don't have the technology," but also, you know, we have the technology, like we have the technology to see with our own eyes. And uh, there's a lot of experiments, right? Um, there's some very famous ones. Basically, the idea is people are like, "Well, if the curvature, look, for example, this is a picture of um, Chicago, 40 miles across Lake Michigan." Right, according to science, according to what we think is sci what, what Americans teach are taught science, um, 40 miles across Lake Michigan, at that distance, Chicago should be 106, 1060 feet below the horizon. But look at it. Right, you can see Chicago from across Lake Michigan. So if the Earth was really a sphere, right, you would be able to, it, the, it, the sphere would be eclipsed, right, because well, it's 40 miles. Well, technically, the Earth isn't more of a sphere. The term is an oblate. Uh, oh, is this? She's been brainwashed. I've so heard this. I've heard this argument loads of times. Oh, I've been brainwashed. Yeah. Um, well, see, if you look at NASA's pictures, uh, which were taken, you know, from the space, you see it's a very circular. Okay. So the, and then, so right, you're putting your you see you see NASA's pictures that were taken from space. Like, if you look at the science, the tides, and the situation, you can't have a flat Earth, fam. Like, but that I'm sorry. Like, you, you just can't. Well, no. It. If you think, but I mean, you can't. Why? What, what are your arguments besides NASA says so? My arguments aren't that NASA, like if you look at the science of the structure, like in order to have certain types of tidal waves, in order to have certain types of climates, in order to have the certain types of wind, wind cycles, right, within certain coasts, like you need to have a circular oblate structure for the globe. You can't have a flat structure, like that's not So what's, what do you think it's more, so the earth is some weird confusing structure that no one's ever heard of before, or that God exists and he makes the earth the way it is? I'm sorry. Can we, let's take it a step back. So do you believe that what the Bible is saying is correct? Well, I believe, so I believe, right, I, I reference the Bible in ways that re people reference. I, I say the Bible as a common knowledge point. I believe a lot of what the Bible has is correct. But the Bible is God, right? It's the idea of like, there's a heavenly God power who, um, who shows himself in many ways uh, through crystals and such. And he... Uh, gives us pa he gives us he give he makes the he decides the world to be so and he puts meaning and purpose into the world, and so the Bible is one example of that. And I think the Bible got a lot of things right. So is this uh, just asking about you then? So then, like growing up, is this something that was influenced through uh, culture? Or like, well, there's actually a lot. Um, I, there's actually a pretty big backstory on this. Um, I don't. I I can't really. I mean, I don't. I it's it's pretty. Tr it's pretty. This is from pretty um, traumatic experiences um, in my past, so I'm not going to go into those right now on the radio. But um, there are there are a lot of things that influence this, yeah. But a lot, and I think the majority of things that influenced us, though, are the idea that the Earth. I mean, I did research. You, you did I did research. a lot of research. I did a lot. I mean, you guys can see the research I did. I did a lot of research, and so like that research led me to these conclusions. And I think a lot of times you always hear the same arguments when you're compare and they oh but where do these arguments come from? I don't think these arguments are inherent. Lo I think these arguments come from just a great body, uh, some a great influencing force such as um, uh, Illuminati, NASA, right? Or as one some would say some one and the same. And I think that these two groups um I think they, I think they control a lot, and I think they control more than you realize. And so it, it actually pains me right now, right? Because I see you, I see, I'm seeing you making these arguments. And I'm saying I can predict these arguments as they come out. And I'm just because it's the same arguments always, always. It's, it's just like, what, do you not realize that you're parroting that you're that you're not acting on your own will? Like I want to be, like, sure, God says that free that we have not much free will, but besides God, but, like, are we? not like our free will like 
do you not value that? Like, do you want, do you not what, wish you had that clarity of conscience, not knowing that what you did was because of what you thought, because of your own research, not because of what some government NASA told you? That's all right. We try, we try not to have dead air on the show, though. Um, um, to answer your question, a lot of where are the primary sources of all of our research, right? So for you, it's the Bible, something that was created, what? Five well, not only the BC, Bible, right? right? If you look at um, other uh, texts, other historical Those texts. Those were still, what, created how many years ago? Loads of years ago. Like right, a lot right. So, years. But we're updating. Like, bec we are practicing our free will by being able to have this conversation on air in front of people right like that is something that we can practice well well i think but free I will right oh, of course um, I will let you speak. and on top of that we're also saying that each of us has a right to have our own beliefs right and those beliefs are stemmed off of our own research right but the research that we get for you it is based off of hundreds of thousands of years of uh, like up like hundreds of thousands of years ago created context, whereas for us it's more updated stuff, right? And in that sense, it's our, it's still at the end of the day, if you give me information, it's still my choice. Like I can believe what I wanna believe. I can choose to trust this or not, right? Like even if you give me information right now, because of my free will and because of my independent thinking, I can choose whether to believe that information is true or whether I support that information, correct? The same way that you believe something that was created hundreds of thousands of years ago for complete cause back then that is not in any way relevant today is uh, going to be a reflection of modern technology or modern beliefs. So everyone has their own beliefs in that aspect and they can choose to use their own research. For you, your research is based off of Bibles and for me, mine was based off of modern science, modern technology. Whether you believe that my research is accurate or I believe that your research is accurate is a whole other conversation, but we have the free will to have independent thinking because we can choose to believe on those texts, we could choose to pick whatever uh, text we want to use as our research and then believe that text and then have this conversation on air. You see, you think your free will comes from, right? So, but you are again, so where does your free will come from? Like got milk. Why did you drink milk as a child? Why did you think that drinking another animal's milk was the best thing in the world? Calcium? Yeah, calcium, right? But calcium is not, a, there's not actually that much calcium in milk. It's not actually that strong of a source of calcium. They're well, significantly better. a lot of the main better. sources of calcium that you can actually feed on when you're much younger are not very much edible for the body at that age. So, but really not milk cow's is milk is milk. really not great for you either. Um, actually, buffalo milk, cow milk are one of the best sources right now mm. well, for infants, baby infants. And I don't think any of these memes will uh, tell you that, but I'm sure most modern research papers will. Well, no, because yeah. there's. Did you, have you seen a got milk ad lately? Well, I don't base my research on whether milk is good for infants on advertisements. But I'm saying, so why, but where, why did people, like, do you think that was, you said there were recent studies, right? So I think before the Got Milk More stuff. More recent than, um, whatever this is. That's not very, that's pretty recent. Well, you can look down, you can well, see this Chicago this any day of the week. You can go down to Chicago. Memes, you can go down to Chicago any day of the week and you can look at it 40 miles away. And the curve will not eclipse Chicago. How do you, how do you know it's 40 miles away? Did you uh, take a meter stick and measure? I mean, I, I mean, no, but I had a friend like walk the distance and every oh, really? step, so, uh, he, the every water, step, just kinda every step he took, he, he, he said one step, two step. Oh. And then we measured his foot beforehand. Uh, um, congratulations. So that, that's how I we didn't know that was more accurate than, um, the, what, don't we have special measurements in space? Oh, who, or oh actually sp in space you, for number one. Okay. So you believe in space. No. All right. That's, oh, you don't believe that's, in space. I mean, no. Okay. Okay. The firmament. Is that another meme? No, it's um, it's actually a site. It, it's a text. I mean, it's an image with a bunch of sources under it, actually. Okay. For example, and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Oh, okay. um, that is there. Genesis 1 7. So, the f good question. What is the firmament? The firmament so is a. So, if we look at the. F so, the flat earth, right? You can't just. If you go. If you, for example, if we were to sh go up into the sky as high as we could we probably wouldn't be able to make it, right? Because there, at some point, there's a, a dome. That's the firmament. So you believe there's a physical dome above the, above the sky? Well, so that, that's, that, that's actually some contention in the... Uh, I think that's a, very, a really good explanation. There is some contention about that. Um, uh, we've got a caller in. Um, so we actually get callers from the show all the time. Uh, we have a lot of... All right, here we go. We're going to put on the phone. So this, is how you, this is how you take a call, by the way. Turn on phone. And then press this style. MCVPZ Radio Hour, you're on the air. Your the war for your mind has begun. Hello. Uh, I have to say I am... Um, 
what, what I'm hearing from the host, and I would like to throw in uh, a little clarity for everyone. All right, wait, can I, can I get your name first? Yeah, my name is Sean. Sean? Where are you calling in from, Sean? Uh, I'm going in from the West Coast. Have you heard of San Francisco? Yeah, of course. I mean, we were actually just talking about uh, Chicago. So that, is that... No, that's... No. Nope. That's, no, that's not... <laughs> no, it's very different. Okay, they're very, but yeah, they're both they're cities, both um, cities full of liberals, so... You're not, um, very, you're not very sharp, are you? Okay, no. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Let me... Does it, we have a lot... So basically, we get a lot of colors into the show. Um, so, because we have... I, I have actually a pretty big base, because a lot of people are, unaf- are afraid to talk of this, so we usually get a bunch of listeners. Okay, so, so. I just wanted... There was a lot of discussion on if there's a free will or pedestrianism, and I want to come in with the truth, the only absolute truth, which of course comes from our text, the Quran. I know you're using a lot of the Bible, where we're brothers, but the Quran, I think, is has a more grain of truth to it. And if you read the Quran, ninety-five four, we have certainly created man in the best of stature. And I also want to bring up fifty-one uh, fifty-six, and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. So you know, we say we say something. We say inshallah. We say, inshallah, meaning if it is God's will, and if it is not God's will, then it, it's not to be done. You so know, it is not that, that exactly we can choose what we do, but so much that if God wills us to do it, it will be done. That's very smart. That is very smart of you. Um, Sean, thank you so much for calling. And that's, uh, so like I said, um, I, I spoke earlier, all, all of these texts, they all reference... And this girl no. believes in space. How do you have someone like this on the show? I know, no, it's, it's, it's like a... It's um, they're just like other. Like, I, I I explained it earlier. They're, I'm training people, so like they're. I got, this is the only one of the few opportunities of, in the year where I get to bring in people who are. If all I wanted maybe us maybe to not have so milk woke. in space, if all I wanted us to have milk in space, I cannot. Okay, I I will go. I'm going to listen to the discussion. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to listen to the discussion. But I, I mean, have some have some people with self respect on the show. Thank you so much. I, I I agree. Thank you so much for calling in, Sean. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Goodbye. So how that works is actually only the person who is on the phone can hear, right? So so you can only so if you guys were to want to chime in when uh, Sean was talking, you would have to talk to through the phone. That's an important thing to know. Um, all right. Also, we're just gonna be taking in callers right now, I guess. Um, all right. So yeah, watch it. Turn on phone. MCPZ Radio, are you on the air? Hey, listen, man. This is Corey. Uh, I just want Corey, to where are you calling in from, Corey? I appreciate you uh, trying to reach out to people with the fundamentals of it, but um, I uh, I just have something on my chest that I really need to get off. This is a little this is a little bit advanced level. A but, advanced um, I level? Really, I really just need to say this. Advanced level? All right, I mean, I mean, we, I mean, I'm I'm still trying to get them on board right now, but we can go into oh, some I, advanced. I know, I know, but this is really important. This this, is we can really get into important. an advanced level conspiracy right now. That's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Are you aware of the, of the death of uh, Mac Miller? Oh yeah, man. I've heard about that. That's messed okay, up. Okay, I have extensive proof that this this death was for a sodomite ritual. Sodomite it ritual. It was a Masonic sodomite ritual. All right, wait. Let me let me get this down. So I actually I have a, I have a page where I talk about this later. So I'm just gonna. This is some this is some good news information. Um, sodomite ritual. It Mac was a Miller. sodomite ritual for Ariana Grande. Mac Mac Miller. So what what was the purpose of this ritual? Are you implying that Ariana Grande is a succubus? I have some I have some history with things of this nature. I was I actually used to live in Hollywood. You did. And I witnessed. One of these Masonic sodomite rituals. Masonic, okay. Yes, I was in a Kmart. Kmart. Okay. Yeah. And I'm There's... getting kind of emotional okay. because this is a little hard for me to talk about because it was so traumatic, and it happened to me when I was very young. Was how How old were you? But um, uh, I uh, I was shopping for deodorant, and you know sometimes when I'm shopping for deodorant, I like to uh. I like to take the caps off and smell the deodorant. Of course. Because I want to smell nice. Of course. Mm-hmm. And, um, this guy came into the aisle. Okay. And he wouldn't stop looking at me. All right. Was he, uh, was he a Hollywood type? Would you say he was a Hollywood oh, type? Oh, yes. Definitely. I would right. say so. I was in Hollywood. All right. In Kmart. And he wouldn't stop looking at me. 
and I was getting really uncomfortable. And I just I looked up at him and I said, "What well, are you gay?" And I and I ran out. Okay. You so you asked this man if he was uh, homosexual? Yeah, and then I ran away. Okay, that's uh, that's and pretty. That was the ritual. Oh man, that's that's um I don't know so. Sorry. So, right when we look at when we look for satanic rituals, we look for the the big F's, right? Um, fire, fury, you know those guys. Um, so, were that was there any of that in the story? No. Which is I think I think this guy wanted to fuck me in Kmart, honestly. And oh man, know, so I don't I don't know if you could even imagine what that's like. I mean, I, I I'm sure this experience is very. I know I could never I could never live uh, survive in Hollywood. There's a lot. I mean, I, I don't know if you've heard read the stories about Hollywood. Uh, we've there's a lot of people out there. They uh, they very they weren't not very good, especially as a young child, dude. It's not very it's not a very good look for you. So I'm 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 happy you made it out of Hollywood. Um, uh, but where where are you? So where are you now again? Oh, well, I still live in Hollywood. Oh, you still okay? Oh, so you're not you I'm haven't made it out. Hollywood. But I haven't I haven't witnessed any more uh, sort of my rituals. There Except what, what about the Ariana Grande one? Have you witnessed that or? No, I did not witness that, but I've studied it. I've researched it. Eric, uh, okay, I'm gonna get some I've research been done. The Kabbalah. Kabbalah. Oh. I've been reading. Um, I've been reading the text, the Bible, of course, Jesus. Of course, of course, of course um, Jesus. And yeah, this is this makes this has all the makings to be just another Masonic, sodomite, satanic ritual, where they took they took away one of our greatest performers. I agree. I, I really did like, like listen to Mac Miller, especially because he was very positive. Fantastic artist. Mac Miller was, should not have gone. This is not fair. He, Ma, I think the, thing about, the nice thing about Mac Miller, he was positive. He's not like other rappers, right? In the sense that he... He has a positive message for the youth. He does. He that's really does. Why they, that's why they killed him. Yeah, exactly. And so he, I, I think he... The you know what? thing with J. Cole. I'm not, I'm not confident on this, but I'm pretty sure that Mac Miller was a Christian. So I'm going to look that up. Oh, Mac Miller was most definitely a Christian. That that makes sense. There's a war against Christians in the United States. All right, I'm 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 thank you thank you so much for taking in this call. Uh, thanks for thanks for letting me get that off. You have a good day now. All right? You have a good day, well. Fantastic right. show. Fantastic. Thank you so much. It's always a good one. Thank you so much for calling in. So now we turn off the phone. All right, that was. Please don't recall us for the moment. We were. I appreciate your calls. I appreciate your research. Um, we're, I'm going to do some more research into this Mac Miller thing. If he was... I'm sorry, we got another call. All right, I'm going to take this call. It's going to be the last one. All right? Hello? MCBC, MCBPZ Radio Hour. And hello? Hello. Who's this? Uh, hi, I'm calling in to ask a question about what you guys are arguing about. Because we just tuned in, and I'm kind of unsure. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, well, can I get your names? Uh, cool. I'm Neil. Neil from uh, what? What country are you from, Neil? I'm from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All right, Neil yeah. from Pennsylvania. All right. So we're we're at, this is a flat Earth radio show. We're discussing flat Earth, flat Earth theory. Is um, recently it's been uh, aired actually on the show. First first news source to be reporting this, I believe. Mac Miller was um, a sodomite uh, was killed in a sodom sodomite ritual. Um, by uh, uh -huh. Ariana Grande. So, like, but basically that stuff, we're talking about that, we're talking about Hollywood types, and we are most uh, importantly talking about Flat Earth. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thanks so much. Yeah, That's of course. Great. See you later, great Neil. Show. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. So the problem is, right, so uh, I, I like to pick up the phone when people call because if I don't say the number, when I because there's a phone number, right, There's uh, I'm not going to say it out loud right now because the thing is when you say the phone number out loud, then people will call indefinitely. Right, but when they when they somebody like when somebody calls in and they already know the phone number, it means they're a repeated caller, or like or they or they've heard the number before and they really just want to start talking, and so like so I trust the people who call in without prompting. All right, that being said, don't call in anymore, please. Uh, so we discussed a lot of really important topics today, and I think I think we made a lot of progress. I have a lot more research as well. Um, this is good. Um, for example, like have you ever thought about like. 5G towers or 4G towers and stuff like that. Like, if we could get, if we could, why do we need so many towers if we just make a call to the moon in 1969 from a landline? Right? It doesn't make any sense. You mean like phone towers? Yeah. Like, I mean, if, if why do we need all these? So, like, like why do we need 5G and all these towers everywhere? Right? So, what are the towers actually doing? Allowing us to make, f to talk to people. But do you really think that? Because we could call anyone w from a phone line in like 1969. So like, why do they have to all of a sudden build these 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 towers everywhere? What are the towers doing? Wi-Fi, 
know. What, what is it? See, I don't exactly. If it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. You can't think really think about it. If you think about it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like that's but like once you start thinking about these things, you don't really make. So here's here's the image I got that from. Weaponizing Truth is a great website. Um, but yeah, this um, like it, it makes like um, it makes so much sense that like there's something there's a conspiracy going on in the United States. Um, like what's going on in pizza shops? Uh, what's going on? Uh, what's going on with the Hollywood? Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's going on, and we got to really think about it. Um, so like yeah, my political beliefs aren't really much like a lot of the, uh, of the uh, what you see around here, but that's all right, and I'm okay with that because like I'm really okay with that because you know the trick to getting people to change their mind is by being kind and assertive. All right, so we're gonna be doing reading some PSAs. All right. Um, so every show you have to read a PSA. Uh, we're just gonna take one from the bottom here. Um, right. So they have dates on them and stuff usually. Uh, so I'm gonna we're, we're gonna all be reading some PSAs together. All right. So I well I like to, I like to do this little thing. Right. So I'll read a PSA. Um, all right. So our friends at Community. So I'll read a PSA. All right. So I'm gonna read this one right now. Our friends at Community Home Health would like to remind our listeners that the need for a safe and bl secure blood supply is now with us. If you're able to, please donate blood today at the hospital or blood bank of your choice. By giving blood, you may be saving the life of a child or surgical patient, and you protect not only from yourself, but your family and the community as well. Remember, the greatest gift you can give is the gift of life. The important, this important community reminder was from Community Home Health serving Greater Philadelphia area. For more information on the services, you can visit them online at CHHPA or call 396-8252. Consider the health and the welfare of a community. They're on the air because they care. So we have to read these. We have to read one of these a show. Um, the real the problem is, right, uh, I don't like to read them because I, bl I don't believe in this idea of like reading things because number one, someone tells me to, and the idea of like spreading information that could be potentially damaging. So what another exercise I like to do is after reading a PSA, I'll read the opposite PSA, right? So it's just give both, because in, in, in we're not, we don't, we never give, in America, it's really hard, we rarely ever give both sides of the argument. We never give like both, like we never allow that to happen, right? It's always like the liberal media or the conservative media, but I try to have a truly partisan show, so I'll always read the opposite, right? So our friends at Fuck You Community Helm Health would like to remind our listeners that the need for no stupid sick blood supply. If you're able to, uh, don't donate blood. Donating blood is stupid, and if you donate blood, you're an idiot. All right, so like that's 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 like an example of what I like to do, right? So because I mean, if you think about donating blood, like what are you doing? Where is the blood going? The people I, who need blood. Yeah, who? What kind of people need blood? Liberals. It's what? Liberals. I mean, that's one word from. I'm saying succubi, uh, vampires. Uh, NASA. Bugs Bunny. Well, Bugs Bunny. Bugs, I don't get that. Are you are you trying to j make a joke right now? No, not at all. I told you. D I'm really so, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I like I'm serious. Like I, I, it's okay for you guys to come on my show and shout at me, but I want you to be respectful. Yeah, you're right. So all right, sorry. thanks. All right, um, so you guys can read a PSA. Would you like to read a PSA? You know, I, I can read one. All right, all right, but you have to be very careful. You actually have to, like, seriously, you have to. Uh, one sec. This is MCBPZ Radio Hour. All done. What? All done. This is this is this is ridiculous. Oh, who's sorry? Who's oh my? Is who is this? This is this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. I'm I am appalled. I'm sorry. I'm really I'm really sorry. I am I, appalled. I told you. I told you that there's no swearing. I know. I'm really sorry. I, told I just you that, I told you. I got you. really I. This is our station manager. I'm really sorry. No, I'm really, really sorry. Lily? Not Miranda. Oh. oh my god. Like, like I should just cancel you right no, now. No, please don't. You know, like, you know, this show means a lot to me. You know, there's, like, I know, like, I, I just got really heated because there's a lot of, a lot of idiots in the studio right now. So, like, mm -hmm. I just, I didn't, I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I oh promise god. it won't happen again, the show at all, okay? No more swearing the rest of the show, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. All right. That was... Oof. That's our station manager. That's, she, gets, she gets really upset if you swear in the show, so don't swear. All right. All right, anyway, so, um, so wait, anyway, we have uh, another PSA to read. Um, who wants to, you said you wanted to read it? It's okay. I don't think I can do both sides. Uh, you don't have to do both sides. You don't have to read one. Like, I'll do the other side. 
Yeah? But you have to read every word exactly how it's written, all right? I mean, I'm just saying, okay. I'll read it. All right, you'll read it? Yep. Okay, thank you. All right. Good thing I don't know how to pronounce this name. The Goethe Institute celebrates the... T- what is it? The Goethe Institute celebrates the 250th birthday of Johann Wolfgang Goethe, Germany's most good, <laughs> Germany's most famous poet and writer, by presenting a series of shit, sick, slutty features and four Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh, I'm reading word for word. Oh man. More. Oh man. I really hope Miranda did not hear that. That's fine. Help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> MCB PZ Radio Hour. This is uh, this is Alden. Not gonna help you. Alden, you are canceled. No, I, I no. I'm you. really sorry. No, I'm really. So- I swear. I think someone gave us a fake PSA. I, I, I think someone gave us a fake PSA. I told you not to do that. I know. I'm really sorry. You immediately did that. I'm really sorry. No, I really thought it was a fake. I really thought I giving them like a real PSA. I don't know, Alden. We're gonna have to talk when I get there. Oh my! I'm really. So- we're really gonna have to talk. Who was that? Was that a joke? Was that a joke from somebody else? Wait, 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 what was your name Who again? Did that? My name is Alexa. Ale- it, was Ale- it was Alexa. Alexa, why would you do that? I was just following the orders. She, oh God. What'd she say? She was just following orders, she said. You know, that's that's what the Nazis said. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta start thinking for yourself, Alexa. Oh, man, you gotta start thinking for yourself. God, that's why I'm, that's the right point of the show. Randa, I'm really, really sorry. Please, I know I'm really on thin ice. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna talk uh, oh, God. later, you know. Yeah, it's a learning experience. It's okay. I'll be there. Yeah, okay. This is... It's just like I've told you so many times. I know. I, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. All right. Maybe, like... All right. We'll talk. We'll talk. Like, re- remember those fines you had, to, you had to pay? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the fines. I mean, like, we might have to bring that back. Oh, God. I mean, come on. Yeah, but I mean... I just don't have much money anymore. Cause, you well, know, you know... Thing. It's only, like, $200. You know, yeah, okay, fine. But, um, it could be in like a couple of payments of like uh, 19, you know, a couple of installments of like 1999. All right. That's, yeah, that's we'll talk. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. All right. <sighs> okay, uh, that was really stressful. Um, God. So we actually make five dollars every time we read a PSA. Um, I, I have a feeling that PSA was not a real one. Um, it's fine. Um, I guess let's start making the money back now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right uh, the rest of the show is just going to be PSAs. <laughs> uh, all righty. Um, our friends at Office Works in Plymouth Meeting would like to remind our listeners to please don't text while you're driving. The National Safety Council reported last week, years alone, there were over 1.6 million traffic accidents caused by texting while driving. It doesn't matter how old you are or how much driving experience you think you have, it doesn't, um, it's never safe. Our Office Works reminds you, stay alive, don't text and drive for your safety and the rest of ours. This important community reminder is from commu- Office Works located at 37th in East German Town Pike in Plymouth Meeting. Reminding all our listeners to be, please be safe and responsible. They're on the air because they care. All right, and, and now for the, um, uh, yeah, I guess the alternate message here would be, drink and drive, um, if you don't do it, you're kind of dumb. And like, I mean, it's like, it's, it's sometimes it just makes more sense. Ubers are really expensive. Like, like what, what, I think drinking actually opens up your third eye. So like, it actually makes you better at driving. All the people who die from drinking and driving accidents, I have a suspicion, something NASA related. All right. Uh, do you want to read the next PSA? I would love to read a PSA. All right, here, you can read this one. More jobs in an improving economy may result from the teaming up of two economic powerhouses. That's a message from the recently concluded EU-US summit from South Washington, D.C. The European Union's economic alliance signed to promote trade and economic development. Also, I am stinky. Officials from Austria led the delegation to Washington. Austria currently holds the presidency of the European Union. I seriously smell qu- quite weird. President's office r- 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 rotates among the member nations. Brussels, Belgium, is the permanent 
Capitol, the agenda of the Washington I <laughs> Hilly Person meeting, focused on a new transatlantic economic partnership known as the TEP, which will promote trade between the U.S. and my name is Chris Schiller. I would please like somebody to date me and the, the members of the European Union. I really would like somebody to do car with me, so if you're interested, you should call into this, this station. Don't say the number online, because then we get like a lot of people online. calling. If, you're, if you want to go out with me, you would already know the number at, at this point. That's a good point. It is a good point. Um, Maybe the opposite of this would be that the EU d d doesn't actually exist. That's actually that's a good point though. That is, I think we should all it consider that. Not. The EU, the EU might really not be a thing. Like, have have you ever been? Have any has anyone here been to Europe? I have. No. You have. You've been to Europe. Where in Europe were you? Um, I was in France, England, um, and Germany. So how'd you get to Europe? Um, I, t I took a flight. You took a plane. Yeah, I did. So how do you know that plane never actually took off? You know, I um, I don't know. Right, exactly, right? It could have just been, like, it could have been someone like, like, this is a, this is an idea that I've had for a while, that, like, when you go into a plane, they actually put, like, a box around you, and they, uh, like, there's a little screen moving, and it just shows, like, clouds and stuff, mm. as, like, yeah. the screens. Mm. And then they like, oh, you arrived in Europe, but they really just drove you down to, like, was Hicken or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and the languages were a little different, too, I wonder. Yeah, like, 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 like an underground facility. Underground. Like, f like, yeah, like France. Got it, got it, got it. You know, there's a New Delhi, Kentucky, and a Paris, Kentucky, too. So maybe well, yeah, Paris. that that's th see. I think my belief is right when they, there's like two like a country with the name of a city. What actually happened was there was a mistake with the cartographers, and they actually revealed the truth. So if you ever actually mm -hmm. try to go um to New Delhi, Kentucky, um you will get arrested by the world police. Yeah, huh. that's that's I'm pretty sure about that. Like not 100, percent but I I'm pretty sure that if you like like I've never actually met anyone from New Delhi, Texas, or Kentucky, but Kentucky. Are you from Kentucky? Louisville. Have you been from? New, have you ever been to New Delhi? I have not. Case in point. <laughs> you're, you're so right. All right. So exactly right. So I, I, I am. The minds are changing on the show. They're, they're happening. Um. Yeah, but no, but very. But I'm actually very seriously. Yeah, I don't. I very much seriously believe in this. Um. I don't. Know, these are these are like. I like. I like to. I like to joke around. Like I like to, I like to prank around, but like seriously though, like the flat Earth is a very serious thing that I think that a lot of people should consider. Um, so we're we're running a little bit low on time. Um, so it's it's uh, we're I don't I, so it's common courtesy to leave about five minutes for the, uh, the show after us. And as the show after us is our station manager Miranda, who's really mad at me right now. I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna I'm gonna le leave, and I'm gonna show you guys how to. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to archive your shows and stuff and put on some music. Um, I guess I'm in a lot of trouble, but it's fine. Um, I didn't know Miranda was going to be tuning in. I really didn't. Uh, she usually doesn't tune into our shows. So, like, normally usually tunes into our show except with, like, dedicated listeners. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, this is, I'm just going to leave you guys with a thought uh, before we sign out for today. Um, if you can't watch TV or movies without picking apart the mental programming, you might be awake. All right. So I'm just going to share that, guys, with you. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, this you. is the MCBPZ Radio Hour. Uh, oh, crap. I forgot. To, uh, I'm just going to play music now. Before I... Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to archive your shows. So what do you guys think of the show? Wait, can I ask for a second? Yeah. No. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah, of course. I appreciate it. Thank you. What did you guys think of the show though? Like, what were we gonna ask? Uh, no. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm really out here to change your mind, so I hope I hope I put some seeds of doubt in your mind at least. About a like lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to do like exit interviews? Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. I mean, if you guys wouldn't mind, Sydney probably wants to t like talk to you. Sure. Yeah, just like for uh, a minute. I'm kind of running late. She has oh, a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. So I'm gonna show you guys how to archive your shows. All yeah. Right? That's good. Um. So, all right. So, uh, wait. So first, actually, I'm gonna teach you some logistical stuff. Actually. Oh. All right. Great. How'd you guys find it here? Was it hard to get here? 
No, it's far. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. I, hope, I really hope I opened something. Yeah, right. you, yeah. yeah definitely. Um, do you guys want, like, want to do exit interviews? Or no, Does anyone audience. have a minute to just sure. like tell yeah, me you, you what they tell really don't have to. I have really want to know. I would say with you. Okay, cool. Uh, do you want to come in here for a sec? What did you think of Alden's show? It was hilarious. I don't know how he does it with a sh paid face, really. That's probably his biggest, like, like he, he was like really serious the whole time and like really made it seem like he was serious about it, which was like just like hilarious. So you think he was kidding? Um, <coughs> yes, but I don't want to make any assumptions. Um, I sort of assume he was kidding. It, it seems if he was kidding, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think Alden's great. I think he, I don't know. I think, sorry, I'm not being very No, no, it's fine. Take I, your time. Um, nah, I thought the show was entertaining. Um, interesting thought-provoking yeah yeah did he change your opinions on anything um not really no but i think it's important to think i think he i think he brings up good points about understanding uh why we do the things that we do um based off of what uh, other people tell us um and maybe exploring and analyzing our influences a little more. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. No